Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we got a quiet Sunday morning out here on Lake Huron. Sun's just coming up, so I'm going to take the um, uh, Spark up for a bit of a flight over the lake. So, a little bit nervous. Most expensive copter I put over the lake. Uh, with the Phantom 3, I'm usually not too worried. Um, 300 bucks in the drink, but uh, 700 bucks roughly here. So, let's go ahead and take this guy up. So we're going to go ahead and launch. And so we got a nice stable hover. Let's uh, start video recording. Notice I'm using the tablet and tablet holder. And I should have screen recording going. Boy, that guy looks good just hovering there. So I got screen recording. Sun's coming up. So, uh... Fly it a bit out into the sun. Let's take it up and out. I'm going to continue taking it up a bit. Having a hard time seeing with the glare. So I'm about 63 feet. I'm going to take it up to about 100 feet. Yeah, roughly there. Let's give Norbert a little bit of a yaw party. I'm not going to get too brave this time around. So there we are looking up lake. I just, uh, one of the things I really do want to, I want to see how I really do want to, trying to hurry up and talk and do all this other stuff. I want to see how the video is of the water. Look at, look at that sunrise, those clouds. Let's look down lake a little bit. There's the blue water bridge down there. So, looking good. So, just kind of capturing some video. We got a little bit of a wind. I'm wanting to see how the wind's buffeting this guy. It's up there. It's a little bit into the sun. I'm going to yaw this back around. So, I'm at 70% battery. I'm going to fly it out a little bit further. I'm at about 139 feet. It took a while for the tablet to really um, adjust to the uh, distance. So I'm out about 75 feet. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the ship. I was having some problems here. I'm trying to... Yeah, we'll just yaw it around. I'm getting a little bit of lag in the display. One of the things that I, I noticed uh, this morning, a problem that I had, uh, it's having a little bit of delay with the sticks as I push the sticks. Uh, so I don't know if this is in. I'll have to match up the video recording with this to see if it's just having a response issue with this. Um, you know, with the a time delay between it getting to the screen or re actual responsiveness to the stick. So again, I've got the um, uh, screen, I've got screen recording, plus I've got video recording going on the copter. You can kind of see it here. Uh, but one of the things I was mentioning is I really had a fit kind of getting this to connect this morning because I've got my cell phone and I was using it with the cell phone before and I was using it with the tablet. And one of the things that kept happening is it wanted to connect to both and neither were connecting. So I actually had to physically power off the phone in order to get it to connect, reconnect to the tablet. So it was a little bit frustrating. So if you're running into that problem where it's not connecting for you, that's probably what you is if you have several devices on you that you've connected in the past, you may have to turn that one off. Because even I, even though I didn't have it connected to the Wi-Fi of the controller, um, it still wouldn't bind. It was really a frustrating experience. It took me about a uh, half hour to figure out all that. So anyways, uh, fairly desolate beach. We got a few people uh, down lake here, so I'm just going to kind of hang out and hover up here and get some video shots of the lake and yaw it around and just kind of experiment because this is about the furthest I've actually taken this out uh, 
So I'm not going to do anything really overly too brave today. I, I am, as you can see, well out over the water. So if it goes down... But this uh, the stick responsiveness, I'm having a little bit of issue with it. I don't... Because, alright, so it, I'm hoping you can see this. So watch my finger push the stick. So I push the stick. And now notice a few seconds later, my screen moves. So again, I don't know if this is just delay in the signal, uh, getting the video back, or this is actually delay in the actual stick. Now I do not have it in sport mode either, I just have it in regular mode. Uh, because again, I'm really not sure what sport mode is going to do with this, and I want to be careful with it obviously over the lake. Now, uh, one of the things I'm also a little bit nervous about is I'm still at a 70% battery. Now, I'm, hope, I'm hoping that I'm making the assumption that if um, there's low battery on the actual copter itself, it's going to come down because I thought I would be far into that. Now, the other piece is, notice my radio is at uh, 5.8 gigahertz. So one of the things that I notice uh, or I've read about this is this will switch frequencies depending upon um, the noise around it. So it's obviously switched off the 2.4 band. Now the 2.4 band for a control plane is probably the most optimal band uh, for distance. So uh, it's kind of interesting. Now I got to mess around. I, I was in the settings for um, the radio the other day, but uh, right off the top of my head to easily get to them, I'm not sure. And with it still in flight, uh, especially this far out over the lake, I'm not sure I really want to be. Uh, messing with the radio so I'm gonna leave it as it is but now I'm up to about five minutes and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a yaw around and I'm, I'm interested to see because because of its small radius this thing can do, do one heck of a yaw party Norbert so um, she can spin you right around but notice I I've taken my finger off the stick and it's still turning. So uh, just now it's starting to, to slow down in its turn. So, so I push the stick. Nothing. So let's see. I push the stick. Yes. See now I'm showing low battery. And I was, I'm at 70%. So I think this is going to attempt a landing, a low battery landing, so I'm going to let it go ahead and kind of get out of its way. But you see on the screen, I'm still reading 70% battery. So I'm going to let this come down. Notice my telemetry on the screen here, too, is not updating. So she's up there. She's coming down. She, she descends rather fast. Hopefully you can see this. And she buffets a little bit coming down, which is about typical. Let's see. So she's a ways off of the pad. If you, I want to see if it's going to actually land. So I'm going to back this up. I want to, that was quite a ways off the pad. So I think it's going to want to, I want to try to get it back over here. That was quite a ways away from the pad. And I want to stop video recording there. Now that's interesting. It said it's going to return to home, but it already returned to home. I don't know if you guys saw that. trying to it's interesting because now it's returning to home and landing and for some reason it's not letting me turn the video off I might have corrupted the video on there I don't know hopefully it saved the video off um, so it's incrementing the video, which is actually good because uh, another another tip here. 
So one of the things you can recover your video, there's a number of applications out because what happens is if your video gets corrupt, the end of the video doesn't get closed. But if you have a comparison video, there's uh, several um, pieces of software out there which will uh, take the tail off your uh, good video and add it to your bad. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this video. And so I've now saved this video out, so hopefully I'll be able to salvage the video from the last flight, which really perturbs me, so uh, if that was a problem. I'm really wondering why this is um, a problem. So anyways, one of the things, we had a kind of an interesting flight over the lake this morning. First flight of the Spark over the lake. A lot of sun this morning um, out here. So again, very interesting flight. And... Uh, some issues so a couple different learnings one learning is uh, you can't have multiple devices connecting to the uh, or having connected on to the um, the spark because what will happen is it will want to bind with all those second thing is is apparently there's some lag in the um, in the DJI Go 4 app and I think it's on this tablet now this tablet is a pretty capable tablet so I shouldn't be running into problems with that. So uh, the subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. Hit me up in the comments below. Wish me luck on saving this video. And we'll see you in the next video.